I'm Sarah and today we're going to talk about the difference between a push-up bra and a plunge bra. So when should you wear a push-up bra, when should you wear a plunge bra and can you combine both to make the ultimate push-up plunge bra? Right, let's go and find out. Okay, so this is a push-up bra. So as you can see, push-up bra is for breasts that are maybe a bit shallow. So if you're not sure what is a shallow breast shape, uh, you can refer to my other video where I talk about different breast shape. So for shallow breasts, they tend to be flatter. And so a push-up bra will push them in more together. All right, and uh, it would also give more cleavage and more volume. So it's also good for those with smaller breast size. Uh, that's why you tend to find push-up bras um, only go up to a certain size. So another benefit of a push-up bra is it's got padding underneath it, um, which helps to give it a perkier look and also it makes it more comfortable, okay? Because your, bra would, uh, your breast would be sitting on the padding, okay? It gives it uh, more comfort, more security and more support. Okay, so that's for the push-up bra. Let's go and look at the plunge bra. All right, so now we're at the plunge bra. So as you can see, the main difference here with the plunge bra is that the center gore is a lot lower, okay? It's got a deep V-neck cut. So the deep V-neck means that it's good if you're wearing a low cut top, you know, or you're wearing a top that you would like to show more cleavage, right? So, um, you know, you wanna show the cleavage without showing the bra, right? So if you wear a low cut top, but you wear a full cut bra, then you will definitely see the bra sitting here. So you don't want that. Um, also a plunge bra is good if you want, um, if you're a larger breast, right? So um, because plunge bras are more available in larger sizes compared to push-up bras, uh, where they are only available up to a certain size. And um, also if you have a close set bra uh, breast shape where your breasts sit closer together, Okay, so because of the lower center core, it won't be rubbing against your breasts, you know, so that's the benefit of a plunge bra. All right, that's it for the plunge bra, and I'm also going to talk about the push-up plunge bra. Okay, so can you get the best of both worlds? I'll show you. So, can you have the best of both worlds, a push-up and a plunge, right? So, I'll show you here. Uh, so, this is a push-up plunge bra where you can see there's padding, all right? So there's padding in here, which will push up the breasts. And also because of the cutting, okay, the low cutting here, then uh, it is a plunge shape, all right? And as you can see from this particular bra, it's a wireless push-up plunge. So the um, push-up will push it up and the plunge will push it in. So it's a great bra for this with uh, shallow breast shape. So that's it for this video. Now you know the difference between a push-up bra and a plunge bra and also you can get a push-up and plunge bra together. If you like watching this video, just click like and also subscribe to our channel. And if you want to join in to our community, we have a Facebook group where we have women asking all sorts of questions they have about bras. So if you have any bra related question, do join our Facebook group. I'll be very happy to answer your question. The link is in the description below. Okay, that's all for today. Bye.